Hi, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast. Got to start things off as always in Connecticut where Captain Bruce of the Otter just keeps banging away some big striped bass and over the weekend he put his clients onto a pair of big fish weighing in at 49 and 51 pounds. Unfortunately the 49 didn't survive but the 51 was successfully released and also adorns the cover of this week's New England edition of the Fisherman. With all these big bass that are on the move through Long Island Sound, trolling bunker spoons or fishing with live or freshly chunked bunker is a sure bet to score a cow bass right now. The fluke bite in Long Island Sound has been a bit spotty with pockets of decent fish being found here and there, so Captain Greg De of the Blackhawk has been making the steam across the Sound over to Montauk waters and coming up with some nice flatties to 7 plus pounds. He's also been getting into some striped bass, bluefish, and black sea bass, which unfortunately must be released when fishing in New York waters, but the bite should improve closer to home in the Sound as it ever so slowly warms up in the coming weeks. In Rhode Island, bass and fluke continue to dominate the reports, and they provide a best bet for the coming weekend. A friend Mike Wade of Watch Hill Outfitters snuck out after work one evening this week to get in on the great striper bite that is going on up the Pocketuck River. With all the bunker that has set, uh, taken residence up there this spring, one of your best shots at a big bass right now in Rhode Island is up the Pocketuck River or on the bunker schools. We've also got some large fluke that are being landed both off of South County on the party boats like the 7Bs and the Francis Fleet, as well as over around Block Island in the deeper waters. Captain Tony Garino of Booked Off Charters have been really dialed in on the bite around the island of late with loads of fish in the 3 to 6 pound range being caught. We've also got word of some bass that are just starting to move into the waters around Block Island with a couple of mid 40 pound striped bass being landed in the last couple of days over there. And up in Massachusetts, the canal was, well, to say, uh, uh, on fire last week as a push of big bass moved on through the confines of the big ditch, as expected, on the moon. Upwards of four bass over the 50-pound mark were reported, with countless 30s and 40s beached as well. We should see some great dawn plugging tides coming back around after the weekend passes with the new moon on the 16th. So if you want a shot at a truly large striped bass on top water, this is where you want to go this weekend. Striped bass also continue to fill into the Boston Harbor area just in time for the 17th annual Boston Harbor Striper Shootout set to play, take place next weekend. Sign-ups for this tournament can be made through stripershootout.com and the top spots for the longest striped bass pay out some good money. We got uh, checked in subscriber Jackson Lazotti last week and he, he's been getting in on these bass as well. And he, he showed us a nice 20 pounder that he landed on live mackerel in the Boston area. This seems to be one of the better bets for getting in on these big fish right now fishing with live mackerel. And lastly, up in the Gulf of Maine, the hot fishing continues aboard the Yankee fleet on all manner of ground fish, including haddock, pollock, redfish, scup, and halibut. They've now boated three halibut on the season with the first keeper of the year, a nice 80-pounder landed this week. So there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.